Poltergeist of Stairway, the Brown Lady of Raidham Hall. The United Kingdom, like every other old civilization, have lots of terrifying histories that can normalize the reason for the mystical events that take place there, from the olden times even to the current times, from the big crowded cities to the less populated counties. Norfolk is a small county in England of not more than 5,371 square kilometers. Is the host of many spine tingling stories and several mysterious places such as Thetford Priory and Chroma Pyre, to mention a few. One of this numerous reportedly haunted location is the Rainham Hall. It is said that the most popular ghost photograph of all time was taken in this 16th century estate. What exactly makes this home a haunted location? Who is Brown Lady, the ghost of the Rainham Hall? Stay with me till the end of this video as I reveal what brought about the ghost that haunts the Rainham Hall in Norfolk. You are on Daily Horror. Here we bring you gravest of horrors that lurk around in our world, most of which are around you and you don't even have an idea. So. If you are thrilled by terror and consider yourself brave enough to face any dreadful situation, subscribe and turn on your notification to get notified anytime we put up a new video. The claims of ghost sighting are often easily dismissed, downplayed and heavily scrutinized by skeptics. Most people simply don't want to believe in manifestation or existence of supernatural. Hence, the need for constant request of proof from people who claim to have encountered an unexplainable phenomenon. But the picture taken by a magazine photographer in September of 1936 during their visit to the Rainham Hall in Norfolk had different effect. They had visited the hall with plans to photograph the estate for their magazine, the Country Life magazine, but taking the picture of the brown lady's ghost drifting down the staircase. So, who is the brown lady? Why does her ghost roam the walls of the Rainham Hall? Many believe the brown lady of Rainham Hall to be the ghost of Lady Dorothy Walpole, sister to Robert Walpole the first Prime Minister of Great Britain. Lady Dorothy was married to Lord Charles Townshend as his second wife. Lord Townshend was known to be a horrible man known for his temper and eventually accused his poor wife of adultery. Before Lady Dorothy could defend herself, she was locked away in her room inside the Rainham Hall, not even allowed to speak to or see her own children. In 1725, a funeral was held for the lady. Despite the fact that she was alive and continued to be held against her will inside the dark rooms of Rainham Hall, until she died from smallpox in 1726. The ghost of Lady Dorothy was first sighted during the Christmas of 1835. Lord Townshend invited several people for the Christmas gathering at the hall. One of the invited guests claimed to have seen a figure of a lady wearing brown brocade dress, standing in the doorway of one of the rooms and suddenly she disappeared into thin air. The following evening, Colonel Loftus, another guest, saw the same figure again but this time he managed to study her appearance more closely. According to Loftus, she appeared to be a cautious woman with an aristocratic bearing, but to his horror, her eyes seemed to have been gouged out. Following the sightings of these two men, many people began to talk about their encounter with the ghost. In 1836, the author and Royal Navy Captain, Frederick Marriott, visited Rainham as part of a hunting party. As Captain Marriott, 
was determined to prove that the haunting had been tricked by local smugglers to keep strangers away. He asked to be put in the room which contained the painting of the woman who Loftus was convinced he had seen. He slept each night with a loaded revolver under his pillow. For two days, however, he saw nothing and the third night was to be the limit of his stay. On the third night, however, two nephews of the baronet knocked at his door as he was undressing to go to bed and asked him to step over to their room which was at the other end of the corridor and give them his opinion on a new gun just arrived from London. After examining the gun, the men decided to accompany Marriott back to his room. The three men were making their way along the dark and gloomy corridor when suddenly they saw the figure of a melancholy woman carrying a light approaching them. Thinking that it was one of the ladies in their party, the half-dressed myriads for the sake of modesty hid himself in the space between the double doors of one of the bedrooms. The two other men joined him. As she approached, Marius recognized her as the woman from the portrait in his bedroom. Never a man to cower in fear, he kept his finger firmly on the trigger, intending to confront her and demand an explanation for her presence. Before he could do so, the apparition stopped in front of where Marriott and the others were concealing themselves. She turned to face him and grinned in a malicious and diabolical manner. Marriott shot and the woman vanished. The bullet lodging in the door across the way, a shaking Marriott never tried to challenge the brown lady again. The brown lady is even said to have scared the future Judge Four when he stayed at Rainham Hall in the early 19th century. One version of the story was him rushing from the hall declaring, I will not pass another hour in this accursed house. For about 300 years, numerous people have claimed to encounter ghosts of Lady Dorothy in her brown brocade dress, but one that was particularly famous and brought international attention to the hall was that of a photographer, Captain Herbert C. Provard and his assistant working for the Country Life magazine. In September of 1936, the two had visited the hall with plans to photograph the estate for their magazine. According to Herbert, he and his assistant, they were busy taking photographs of the house's main staircase when a strange unexplainable mist began forming on the steps. Amazingly, the vapor began moving down the stairs as if it was walking. All the while, Herbert continued snapping photos, astonished at what they were seeing. Since the photograph of the brown lady was taken, the image has come under intense scrutiny with many theories being put forward to explain the image including that the photographer smeared grease on the negative, that it was due to double exposure, that it was the movement of a person on the stairs who was captured during the exposure and that light accidentally got into the camera. Now, what do you think of this claim? Was the image doctored or do you believe it is real? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section, we love to read them. Don't forget to like and share this video. Till we come your way again, stay spooked. Coming up in the next episode, The Massacre of Port Arthur. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notification so you won't miss out on the next exciting episode.